Welcome back to Boring Gear Reviews. Up today, we have the Parabola Tremolo from Caroline Guitar Company. If you're into guitar effects pedals, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and let's get on with the review. So Caroline Guitar Company is an effects pedal company based out in Columbia, South Carolina. They were started and are captained by a man named Philippe Herndon, and they make a lot of cool pedals. This is one of them. This is a pedal that I had wanted to get for a really long time. I have no idea what took me so long. Um, I don't know, but I finally picked one up and it absolutely lives up to the hype. So that's good. It's a very simple layout, which I love. You know, all of Caroline Guitar Company's stuff is um, very straightforward. Uh, everything sounds fantastic, uh, built like a tank, you know, very simple layout, simple designs and just tons of vibe. So let's get right into it. Um, the controls are simple. We have output or volume, uh, and that controls the overall volume of the signal when the pedal is on. You have depth, which controls the depth of the modulation, and speed controls the speed of the modulation. There is a preamp in this, and I have to say, this preamp is rad. We'll get to that. The two switches here, we have one for mode, and this is AM and FM. AM stands for amplitude modulation, and FM stands for filtering modulation. Quick note, on this version, uh, this is version one, the screen printing is backwards on this, so uh, if you buy a new one, AM will be at the bottom and FM will be on top, so whenever you see this switch set, just know that it's opposite. And we have two speed subdivisions. We have slow and fast. The slow one goes pretty slow, and the fast one goes really fast. Uh, it's all obviously controlled with your speed knob, but you can break it up into these two sections. We've got a true bypass, and uh, pretty standard for Caroline Guitar Company stuff, we have a Havoc switch. So the Havoc switch on this pedal will boost the depth and the speed. Uh, the speed about doubles, and um, maybe the depth does that too? It's hard to say. Something like that, though. And it's really, really fun. I haven't seen that on any other uh, tremolo pedals where you can have one speed setting and then momentarily click on another one. Uh, I've seen you know tremolo pedals that have presets and stuff like that. Uh, this does not. Uh, no tap tempo, but this kind of finds some area between tap tempo and nothing at all. Uh, super, super fun to use. There is quite a bit of volume in this pedal, so I'm going to leave the output uh, a little past noon. For me, that seems to be unity. The guitar I'll be using today is my 1992 Oral by Gibson Les Paul Custom. Uh, there are Lawler Imperials in here. Uh, this is a low wind and a regular wind. So the first setting we're going to use, I'm going to have the speed set to slow and the modulation set to AM. Remember, mine's backwards. The depth and speed are going to be at noon, and then about halfway through the uh, demo, I'll turn the preamp to noon, and then all the way up, and you'll get to hear that. Thank you. 
So as you can hear, the preamp section gives you a ton of options and completely changes how you approach the pedal. And to that end, you can use this exclusively as a distortion pedal, which I'm gonna do right now. Uh, one really, really cool thing that you can do with that, if you set the depth at zero and the speed at whatever, and then use your preamp as you would any distortion pedal, so there's your drive, you won't hear any tremolo effect until you step on the Havoc switch. So if you were using this just as your distortion pedal, it can rest as that. And then whenever you wanted, you could engage your Havoc switch and then get that tremolo effect. Super, super cool way to use this. Uh, I'm gonna pair it, using it as a distortion pedal, I'm gonna pair it with the uh, Fairfield Circuitry 900 Fuzz. So you can see how well this stacks with other drives and fuzz pedals. <laughs> So now we're going to add some reverb. I'm going to have the parabola set pretty clean. So I'm not going to use any other drive other than uh, the preamp section of the parabola at about nine o'clock. The depth will be about two o'clock and the speed around one o'clock. I have both uh, switches flipped up. So I'm using FM and fast. About halfway through, I'm going to engage the Havoc switch. So you'll hear a uh, tremendous boost in speed. It'll get really, really fluttery. The reverb we're using today is going to be the uh, CXM 1978 from Chase Bliss and Maris. The way I'm gonna set it as, as a pretty modest plate reverb. <laughs> So now we're going to move the parabola after the reverb. Uh, what we just heard was it before. So that way when the chops happen in your 
tremolo signal, the reverb kind of washes that away. So it's not as pronounced. Uh, in this case, when we move it after, the reverb is also going to be chopped up. And also because we're running the drive completely full in this example, so the reverb is going to be distorted too. This is one of my favorite ways to use this pedal with reverb. The settings for the reverb this time are going to be a hall setting uh, with you know fairly decent decay. And in the beginning of the clip, you're going to hear the tremolo effect uh, because I have the Havoc switch engaged. And then I'm going to release it, and you're going to hear just the drive signal after the reverb. <laughs> Guitar Company. Like I said, it took me a long time to finally pick this up, and I'm really glad I did. I never thought I could be that inspired uh, or interested in tremolo. I've never had it on amps, I've never had it in, in another pedal, but um, I really love this thing. For the drive section alone, honestly, if you were to buy this as a distortion pedal, you would be super happy. But the fact that it has this really, really uh, thick and rich tremolo that for me has all the options I need is a home run. Um, there are tremolo pedals with way more features. Uh, I find that really confusing. I just want it to go up and down and I want to be able to control how fast and deep that happens. And that's it. And the fact that we get this preamp and then the Havoc switch is just crazy bonuses all around. I can't recommend this thing enough. Uh, super pedal board friendly. Uh, True Bypass, the new ones have relay switching, um, what else? Mm, it uh, draws under 100 milliamps, I don't know exactly, it didn't say on the website, but hot damn, this is a great pedal, and uh, I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Do you guys use Tremolo? What do you think about Tremolo? Leave a comment, let me know, and uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.